Hi, I'm Dave, this is the Side of Baby Pod, and today I'm speaking to Nick from Voodoo 6. Hello. Hello, how are you? All right? I'm pretty good. You're looking well. Thank you. Thank you. I get that a lot. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was a little announcement on social media yesterday, I believe. There was. There was. Uh, you going to tell me a little bit more about this, sir? Uh... Well, very much out of the blue, very much out of the blue. Um, we've been, I wouldn't say on hiatus, but with um, with COVID and everything like that, it's been very difficult getting everything back together and everything going again. Right. Um, out of the blue, we had an announcement that Voodoo 6 are going back on tour in February, UK. Excellent. Excellent. Um, you're starting in Bristol, doing a yeah. load of other dates. At the, at the Fleece in Bristol, and then we're finishing in london at the underworld so yeah. should be great we've got some great support acts um brilliant support back acts in fact and um yeah yeah really excited really excited yeah um so how did this what was the conversation somebody ring you up and say oh we want to see you touring again or basically it was are you free at the end of february and i was like yes and the rest of them were like yes and that's it and that is it. That is literally what, what happened. And there's no, there was no, oh, we'll try to do this. It was over. And then a week later, the dates are announced. Excellent. Excellent. So that, that is how it worked. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, like I said, very much out of the blue. Um, it's been a long time coming. We've all had been busy with other projects, but yeah, we're now, you know, this is obviously our, our baby this project we've been you know it's been going for a long time and we're just excited to get it back on the road get going again play some of the songs to people it's going to be a little bit of a greatest hits tour we're going to do oh brilliant so, um well simulation game came out just prior to covid taking off so. actually came out in covid in covid yeah it was initially supposed to be released before covid and yeah. then as the release date sort of got held up by covid starting and there was there was a, we had the, the biggest issue was we couldn't get the cds printed because the cd companies were all shutting because of covid right and there was a massive backlog and it ended up where we couldn't release it on the initial release date because we didn't have the product we didn't have it mm. yeah. um everything shut down so then it got delayed and delayed and then we ended up by just um sort of getting out but that's the reason why we ended up by there was supposed to be a vinyl release and all that and covid just killed it killed the whole thing yeah it was a disaster the online release went really well went really well and we got number one in the yeah. rock charts and that sort of thing so we were pleased with that but obviously we couldn't then go back up the, we couldn't back it up we couldn't go out and you know then tour or, you know play these songs live we could we've we've played a couple of the songs live but although this isn't really a simulation game tour it's going to be a simulation game tour because we haven't played any of the stuff really yeah, yeah. I mean, it's your your second album, isn't it, with the band? It's my second one with the band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so the first one was um, "Make Way for the King," which we recorded in um, in LA actually in Hollywood, and we did that, and that was fantastic. And and this this is now the second one. Yeah. So. Mm. So you 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 yourself then have got quite a um, a draw of songs to pull to make them quite a quite a tasty set, shall we say? Well, yeah, I mean, the band, I mean, like I said, we're not just going to be playing stuff from the albums that I'm on with this. Mm. There's, the band was existed and was very strong before I even was in the picture. So, yeah, I saw them know. at Sonosphere um, 2014, I believe. So, yeah. Do you know what the funny about that is? I was there at that Sonosphere and I didn't see them. You didn't? I, I, I didn't see them. Oh, I didn't even know that's they were shocking. That that is, no, it's unbelievable. Shocking. And I was there. I was there. I was watching somebody else at the time, which is terrible, isn't it? Well, who would have thought? Who would have thought? <laughs> I didn't I didn't even know they were on. And then it was only like conversations later. I was like, I was there. I was at that festival, but I didn't see them. Yeah. Yeah. It, it well, it was you missed a very good set, I've got to say. Apparently they, they tell me about it all the time. And they, yeah. they, they hark on back to the good old days. <laughs> Well, surely you can make some more memories of your own now with the guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've we've done a lot of that. We've done a lot of, we've done a lot of touring since I've been in the band. Did you know what the weird thing is as well? I still feel like the new boy. I still feel like the new guy, and yet I am the longest serving singer in Voodoo Six. Yeah, which yeah. is crazy. But I just, you know, I feel like oh, I'm the new singer still, and yeah, I think I've been in the band seven years. 
Yeah, it must must be something like that. Yeah. Yeah, which is crazy. Obviously, two, two, two and a half. We haven't been able to do anything because of obviously the restrictions and. But yeah, yeah, I feel. Uh, yeah, I feel I feel I've been in there a long time, but I haven't got many miles on the clock. If that makes sense, because yeah. we haven't we we've lost a lot of time. Simulation game seems to have more of your stamp, your own personal stamp on in the music. Is would that be correct in saying so? Um, yeah, poss possibly. I don't know. It's very simulation game in itself was a very different project. Mm. Um, it was very much more strings focused than anything else, which wasn't really intentional. It just started happening. And then Tony had this amazing um, strings player out in Los Angeles that he really, and ended up by um, getting them to do lots of stuff on the album. And, and, and we ended up by become very, very heavily strings based, right. um, making it a bit more, I don't know, maybe a bit more dramatic, a bit more theatrical, a bit more Bond theme. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know it was just it was a it was a it was a opportunity we wanted to do something slightly different you know yeah. keep it interesting uh we've already started working on another one Ooh. um which is going to be probably a bit more basic not when i say basic i mean more meat and potatoes yeah. rock and roll yeah um, yeah um sort of you know you know but that was the, the, the simulation game was really good fun to sort of dive into different areas and sort of explore explore different avenues musically really yeah i mean it's more conceptual i suppose in, in exactly its, yeah in its uh, being but um all the better for it though i mean a lot of bands seem to shy away from like a, the concept album and the full experience they just want to put out singles left right and center now and yeah, well, I think the whole market's changed, hasn't it? A lot of the time, the yeah. I mean, are albums even relevant anymore? Do you know like, what I mean? Well, like, yeah, you know, do people sit and listen to albums, or do they just put shuffle on their Spotify and it just plays stuff? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, do yeah. do you, I don't know? It's 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 changed so much, even in the time, even in the last ten years. It's I mean, how much it's changed is crazy. And, I don't know. Are we dinosaurs by still sitting there producing sort of sixty-minute albums? Is that is that something of the past now? I don't know. I just always feel like you have to do it that way because that represents a body of music from that moment in time. You know, mm. I feel if you just release singles, you're just you, uh, it feels almost like you're just sort of releasing ideas as you have them, as opposed yeah. to creating a body of work that you know the simulation game. It, it shows where we were in 2020 when it was written, you know, yeah. and then Make Way for the King shows where we were as a band in 2018. And I feel that if you're just releasing singles constantly, you you don't get a body of work to a period of time. Do you, does that make sense? Yeah, and it's a snapshot in time. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, yeah. I, I was I'm trying not to name drop. I was speaking to Bob Catley yesterday. Yeah, at the Fleece in Bristol. Yeah. And um, we're talking about the production of Wings of Heaven, which is their, one of their albums in 88. Yeah. And they weren't happy with the production. But, no. you know, they said, oh, maybe if we'd done it, and you know, uh, done it in this day, we would have done it a little bit differently. But it, uh, but like we were trying to say, but like we agreed on, it's a snapshot of time. And when you go back on that album, it's that point in history where you've got the memories of the sound, that particular yeah. sound of, of that time. So, you know. And that, yeah, yeah, I totally agree. And saying that they weren't happy with the production, is anybody ever happy with the production? Is that no. something? How I think mean, very rarely does a, you know, a band come out of the studio and go, that was perfect. You know, you don't. You you sit there and you listen to it over and over again. You go, oh, I need to change that bit. Oh, I'm not happy about that. Maybe the guitars aren't loud enough. Oh, I didn't sing that bit very well. Uh, and but it's it's always normally fine. You just yeah. you're overanalyzing it, overthinking. Yeah. and uh, sort of picking it apart and being overly critical and then you release it and no one no one says oh I don't like what they you know no one goes oh the bits that you're finding flaws in no one notices but unless you're Metallica of course and put out some anger well the production on that one was difficult for everyone <laughs> <laughs> it, it oh, I, I love Metallica but 
That was that was tough. That was tough. I remember get. I remember what was that two thousand and three. I remember yeah, getting I that, that yeah. album. I remember getting being like, God, I'm so excited. Metallica bringing out a new album. I just remember like listening to it and listening to it for about probably two weeks solidly. Yeah. Trying to convince myself I loved it because it was a Metallica album. And then getting to the point where you go, do you know what? This is a really tough listen. Yeah. You know, you're just listening to it over and over again. Go, I'm going to get it. But what I will say is that album gets a lot of kicking. There are about two or three cracking songs on that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. I mean, no, no, nothing's completely bad nothing at all like, no. you, you go back and look oh, yeah, that's not so bad so i i was a recent convert to metallica actually I, i've literally gone back to like ride the lightning and uh albums like that and just gone yeah i really like that now before yeah so you so you didn't like it before no i didn't i um when i was in my youth shall we say which was many many years ago uh the, I, the thrash movement sort of like passed me by yeah i did it, it but now I'm, I'm I'm listening to bands like Acid Rain and uh, going wow. back, you know, all the uh, classics like Testament and stuff like that. It's just great. Yeah. So maybe no, I just didn't mature early enough. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe you're very immature. Maybe that's yeah, maybe, I'm... maybe, maybe yeah. puberty will hit one day and I'll be able to grow a beard. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Like the best of us. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, I'm not jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my son's stroking his beard in the background here. Just ignore How is he? Yeah, yeah, he's he's only three. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Moving on, uh, where do you see yourselves now? Um, if you're beginning the writing pro uh, process, and surely we could really expect an album maybe late in next year or early part of twenty four. Where are we now? Where are we? Um, yeah. I think it, I think it would I would be very disappointed if it, something didn't come out next year. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I mean we've got we've got you know we've got a body of work already sort of piecing together. Um, there will definitely definitely be a release in the earlyish part of next year. Okay, but I, don't know, but I don't know if that will be the new album. But that's all I'm giving you because I don't know how much I'm allowed to say. Oh, you're allowed to say anything. Um, nobody watches this. So it's fine. Okay, cool. Well, no, we were talking, <laughs> talking about possibly, yeah, the, the 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 label and stuff wants some some stuff out. So we've got there. There could be something coming out. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Putting together what you said earlier, maybe. Yeah. I. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Going in line with what we're doing on this tour and that sort of thing. And brilliant. Okay. Um, anything you want to do with the band over the next? Oh. A couple of years, so play, just play, just play. I mean, and I know that's such a simple thing, but being, I mean, the reason that I mean, I'll I'll go into this a little bit is the reason that it's taken so long to get it all up and running again. It's it's partly down to sort of my headspace, mm. being isolated and locked away for quite a long time with, and the music scene completely stopping dead and dying. Mm. And then when it was coming back, when it came back, it was like, I'd try and go to a gig, but you had to sit at a table. And I don't know if you went to any gigs like that. Yeah. Everything just didn't feel for me, like anything was right. It just didn't feel, nothing felt right. I did. I felt a little lost mm. um, with where where we were going. And, and that sort of, I almost got to the point where I, where I couldn't, the mu music wasn't what I loved. Mm. It had changed. It wasn't this go and meet your mates, have a few beers, and go and watch a band and sing along and jump around. It was it completely changed, and I just couldn't face it. I just couldn't face what it had become or what, and I couldn't face the tours starting and then being cancelled. It yeah. was just it just built this huge sort of anxiety that I just until I just couldn't I couldn't deal with it and yeah. I just wanted it to be I wanted to be mentally and all of us sort of in a place where we can book this tour and have the confidence that we're going to go out and do this tour it's not going to get stopped we're not going to get you know weird situations where we're not you know oh we can do the tour but only 50 people allowed in and they've got to sit down 
And you, do you know what I mean? It was just yeah. so restrictive that it, it became, it, it, it brought on anxieties I never knew I had, the thought of going out and doing it again. And I, I don't think I'm alone. I don't I know other artists. Have, I call myself an artist. That's that's a bit pretentious. But, you know, other people in bands, should I say, have struggled with that as well. And um, you sort of questioned yourself. I questioned myself whether this was, you know, something I could... You spent so long not doing it. Mm. Was this something? Was was this something that was just dead for me? Was it something that was just something in the past? Do you know what I mean? Do, be, yeah. Doing this band, am I? Am I now that that COVID stopped that? Now I need to move on with another chapter in my life. Mm. And I felt a little bit like that. I didn't wasn't sure if I, it was something I could still do. You know, so it was a lot of self doubt and those sort of things sort of crept in with the time away from it. But now I'm just so excited. I'm just you know so excited to get back out and do it all again and. I can't wait. I'm I'm glad you have taken that step and booked a tour. To be fair, because a I haven't seen the band with you, uh, yeah, fronting it, which has been one of my um things to do over the next or well, however long it's been since Simulation Game came out, really. Um, but also there's been so many people that have disappeared from the music scene, like you've said because yeah. of covid they've just questioned their whole life choices and think no and that's it I'm, i've had enough but i've i'm glad you've taken that bro step and uh said yeah let's do it yeah well i mean do you know what do you know can i one of the reasons that made me think i ha let's you know let's do this was like i had tickets to faith no more at mm -hmm. brixton Acad was it brixton academy they were booked in? i think it was yeah and they got postponed because of COVID. And then it got postponed again. And then they just cancelled it because Mike Patton just said he doesn't, he can't do it. And then you go, so if someone like Mike Patton from Faith No More is having the same thoughts mm. that I am, that it sort of almost made me feel like, you know, what, I'm not, I'm not alone. I'm not, I'm not um, being pathetic or weak. But do you know what I mean? Like, like yeah. hang on. Yeah, this, I, this, I do know what you mean. Is, yeah. This is a common. This is a common theme that other people are fe feeling. This isn't yeah. just me who's just being, you know, just being odd. I'm like, no, no, no. Hang on a minute. This is. This is. This is. You know, he said he couldn't deal with coming back on the road, and that cancelled that whole tour. So it, it, I know it was a negative that they cancelled their tour, but at the same time, it made me think, hang on a minute. No, this is like this is this is all right. This is, you know, this isn't necessarily. Yeah, just me having this situation it's 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 a bigger problem so yeah so yeah so that sort of was one of the sort of an eye catalysts for getting things going again so sort of yeah. going oh, hang on a minute no no yeah i can do this excellent um I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm like i said i'm glad you've you know taken that step and uh i look forward to seeing you in bristol uh or maybe one of the other dates and well, maybe, maybe all of them. Maybe all of them. Maybe, maybe all. Of, well, yeah. I mean, you could take me as your like tour driver, or something like that. If you want, do you want a driving maybe. job? A driving uh, you've seen my driving, then you probably say no. Um, okay. <laughs> you can drive alongside. How about that? Yeah, I, I could follow we'll, you around. What, we'll wave what? at you from our palace on wheels. Okay, okay. Yeah, maybe the restraining order keeping me, you know, fifty feet away. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty standard. We get that a lot as well. You do? Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> maybe, maybe you can take my son as a tour photographer. He is a uh, passable photographer, I mean. Well, tell him to come come to the fleece and take some photos of us. Oh, I expect he will. He will, because he was the one, actually, that got me into Voodoo 6 in the first place. Oh, did he? Yeah. It is, it, and it, yeah is this, it's it's just the three-year-old with the beard? Yeah, uh, he's hiding under a blanket at the moment. He's He's, he's, he's very tired. Oh yeah, I can yeah, imagine. Yeah, so, um, but yeah, I'll, yeah, it'll be, it'll be great to see you at the fleet. I'm like I said, we're so, just so excited. I'm just so, I just can't believe it's actually happening again. And I know, I don't know. This isn't the big. We're not going. We're not stadium tour. We're not doing anything amazing. But it's something that's such a massive part of all of our lives that all that just stopped and just was gone. Mm. And you just didn't, never going to come back. So I don't know. Every band that's gone back on tour has said the same thing as me. I get it, it's cliche, but I'm just so excited to get back out there and see people and meet people. And I don't care if there's five people in the club when we play, as long as those five people are having a good time, then we'll have a good time. So 
Excellent, excellent. I hope to see you at a couple of festivals as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing uh, at a time. One all right, uh, time. no denial there, but that's all right. Damn it, I was hoping to get a scoop. No. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for your time, Nick. It's been a pleasure. No, thank you. Excellent. See you on the road. See you soon. Bye-bye.